Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and it's time to take a look at the all new Ecovax DBot X2 Omni 4 cleaning robot. And I love doing these types of videos because it's something I use all the time and it makes my life much easier. I'm already using an Ecovax vacuum, so I'm excited to see the updates they've included in the DBot X2 Omni. Now, big thanks to Ecovax for sponsoring this video and sending over the floor cleaning robot for us to check out. They have a new design. It's a more square and narrow body coupled with an updated navigation system. So it should be really great for smaller spaces. We're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box. Then of course, run through the setup process, map it out. I will show off the app, how you can go to different rooms, etc. And then of course, chat about how clean this will get with its mopping system and self emptying vacuum system. I will be sure to link to everything down below if you're interested, but let's get started. Opening up the box, let's see what we get inside. First up, you get your instruction manual, warranty information, plus your power cable that will go into the back of the base station. You also have a side brush plus a bit of a ramp that will connect to the base station. Okay, let's see what's in here. And it's the actual X2 Omni. And here is the D-Bot X2 Omni. It actually has a good amount of weight to it, which makes sense considering it has 8,000 PAs of suction. Pretty crazy. We'll take a quick look at the hardware in just a second, but let's take a look at the base station. <laughs> On the front, this looks really clean, more of a black and silver style. And up at the top, Ecovacs D-Bot X series. This middle section, you just press, it will open up and there is that auto emptying bag section where you can replace that and just press it again to close it. Down at the bottom where the actual vacuum will go is our floating rubber brush. Here is a quick look at that. You will attach it to the bottom of your vacuum. Not only will you charge her since it also does mop, there's a sink here that will come out so you can maintain that when it does its auto cleaning on the mops. Nothing too crazy on the back, but there is some cable management down at the bottom for the power cable. Flipping the top lid up, some instructions on how to use your D-Bot plus containers for water. These are fairly good size, so you can do multiple mops. You have a clean water and dirty water container. And onto what we're all here to see, the Ecovacs D-Bot X2 Omni. This is the top, very sleek. Again, more squared off profile. Uh, looks very sleek. Also just fairly slim overall, so it should be good for those corners. Anyways, up at the top here, we do have a touch power button. This top lid will come off. Make sure you remove this so the anti-collision bumper will work properly. Right here is our dustbin, which easily pops out. It does have a filter and lets you know how you can clean the dustbin. Again, it will auto empty, but occasionally it's worth it to clean this out. Very simple to just pop right back in. There are sensors all around the X2 Omni. You have an upgraded navigation system with dual laser LiDAR and AIVI 3D. On the front there is the True Detect 3D sensor and that AIVI camera. This will give the X2 Omni a greater range of motion and accuracy, faster mapping, detecting items, and just quicker response times. The mop pads are installed out of the box, but I want to point something out. It will go up to a height of 15 millimeters. Look at how much these actually will go up, which is a lot more than I've seen because when it detects carpet, it will stop the spinning, it will wait, lift them up, and then continue to vacuum over the carpet without actually mopping the carpet. You don't need that. It also uses Osmo Turbo 2.0 rotating. So these will spin up to 180 times a minute, which is crazy fast. Those floors will be sparkly clean. There's also sensors down at the bottom for anti-drop. So it's going to detect stairs. We will test this out, don't worry. And then also the carpet detection sensors. Uh, so it knows when to lift up the mops. Finally, our wheels have a lot of grip to them. That's nice to see. Plus our side brush is very easy to attach. Just go ahead and snap it onto the corner there. And this is our floating uh, rubber brush here. This isn't an extra, so we have two now. So it's nice that it does include an extra. All right, it's finally time. Let's grab our DBot X2 Omni, get the base station set up and get this connected to our phone and run through the startup process. All right, we've got our base station all set up. It looks really clean. It'll look good in just about any space. We've installed that ramp and I noticed there's even a little strip of light that will notify you the status of our D-Bot. Setting it up was really simple, taking off the lid and scanning the QR code within the Ecovacs app. 
First things first, let's start mapping our home. Running through, it starts really cool. You can see it in real time scanning your house. And when it's all done, here it is. It will label different rooms that it detects. You can rename these rooms if you'd like to and even select them individually to clean. You can even just do a border for a specific area you want clean. The app is great and really easy to use. You can control the vacuum power, water flow level, the amount of times, even turn on deep scrubbing in a more S-shape manner. You can schedule your cleaning, which is super helpful. There's even a setting up here called AI Smart Hosting, which will automatically generate cleaning parameters for different rooms based on your habits, which is kind of crazy using AI. Next to the map, you can go to station features where you can empty the dustbin, hot air drying, mop pads cleaning, and self-cleaning, even a child lock so your kid won't press the buttons on the base station. By the way, you can access the camera. There it is, it's charging in the base station right now, but you can access the camera as maybe some sort of home security to check different things out. You can control it right here and you can make voice calls to it. Finally, you can edit your map, change your home furnishing, and you can have multiple maps. So maybe you have two levels of your house or two different areas. You can separate them if you'd like to. After using the DBot X2 Omni for a little while, the first thing I noticed was that more slimmer square profile. It actually will get closer to walls so the baseboards get cleaner, plus it will go underneath cabinets because it's smaller and it will get those corners and hug the wall even closer so everything just gets a little bit more clean. Also it can fit in really small places. It can navigate around wheels, around chair legs to get into those, you know, unseen places of your home. The X2 Omni features the industry's first embedded LiDAR system, which is positioned inside the robot's front left side. Prior to the X2 Omni, LiDAR modules were enclosed within the round turret up at the top of the robot, those hockey puck looking things. Integration of this new dual laser LiDAR system into the chassis of the robot helps lower the overall height, allowing the robot to navigate in those tighter spaces, maybe under beds, couches, chairs, specifically my couch now underneath it, it actually gets cleaned, it didn't before. This new embedded LiDAR system also enables greater accuracy, range of motion, faster mapping, and faster response times. Again, 8,000 PAs of suction is really powerful, so if you happen to spill some cereal on the ground, or maybe you accidentally knock over a plant and get some dirt on the carpet, it will clean it right up. You can point it through the app, point it to where you want it to go, or even use your voice to tell it to clean a specific area. And the X2 Omni is so hands-free, it will auto-empty for me and get ready for the next cleaning. Plus, when it comes to mopping, it will auto-refill, it'll even clean and dry the mop pads for me to keep everything nice and spotless. Speaking of mopping, those pads do spin really fast. You can control how much water is used. Also, I just went and, and mopped my kitchen and taking, I'm gonna spare you the visual, but looking at the dirty water, it's kind of crazy how dirty your floors will actually get and how much mopping does help. Also great that those mop pads lift up so high so when it does shift the carpet, it knows to raise it up. It works really well, those sensors are doing their job. Speaking of those sensors, with the AIVI 3D and their dual laser LiDAR, the detection system is really good. First of all, it was very quick to set up, map everything out for me, but it will even t d detect shoes on the ground, maybe some cables you have laying around, keys if you happen to have them sitting on the floor, but also even pet waste, which I've heard horror stories from friends in the past about robot vacuums and pet waste. It will detect it and avoid these objects. Also, as expected, it detects ledges on stairs, etc., and won't actually go over the edge. Also, which is great because you can have multi-level mapping. So you can have it map your top level and bottom level and switch between the two maps within the app so that if you put it upstairs, you know you can switch maps, hit clean, and it knows where all the objects are and knows the mapping system. It's not just hands-free with the mopping and the auto-emptying, but also hands-free literally because you can talk to it. If you say, okay, Eco, you can give voice commands, direct it a certain place. You can tell it to go to a specific room. There's a ton of different commands that you can use. So to recap, my floors have been extremely clean lately. And also it's something that I don't have to think about as much anymore because it will auto empty. It will auto refill the water. It'll clean the mopping pads for me. And I can schedule the cleaning so that I don't even have to do it manually. Everything is taken care of. And once every, you know, over a month, I have to empty the bag. But that's really about it. 
So overall, really impressed with the D-Bot X2 Omni. Happy with the design change of it. Again, it's getting closer to the wall. It's getting those corners a little bit better. And when you couple it with that higher suction rate, the better nav system, it just does an overall better job cleaning my house. So anyways, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.